YouTube, welcome to Kathleen Oma and welcome to our reaction to Frank and the Knockouts. We are going to react to their song, Sweetheart. Let's get started with our first time single take on his reaction to Sweetheart. Requested by our patron Warren. song sweetheart 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 ha ha yeah he <laughs> promises to be there whenever there's trouble and all that call him and there will be no more trouble lot of lot of nice things in there romantic things in there i don't know whether that was a keyboard or the electric guitar I whatever think that it was, was keyboard, yeah. whatever it was it sounded pretty good it came in pretty yeah, late in the song with full force yeah. and it worked its magic it made the song it was magical it, it made it the, song, the song up. yeah it made the song less boring it revived the when song when it came in it made the song less boring 
so that I could say that though this is a decent a love song. Uh, otherwise, it would have been pretty boring without that little bit of that musical magic in there. That that's the beauty of music, you know, the magic of music, power of music, you know, whatever you want to call it. When you use it correctly, it can revive a boring, dead song like this one. True. Um, I wonder who was doing the vocals. Is it Frank uh, from the Knockouts? So Frank and the Knockouts. If it is the Frank that uh, who did the vocals, oh, I wish they replaced this person with somebody else, or he did something else altogether. It didn't sound good at all. The whole band. The knockouts were put down because of this man singing the way he was singing. I like the music, you know. If you could separate the two, you would realize how good the musicians were, other other members, and how pathetic this person's contribution was to the song. Because he was bringing the song down constantly, as if it was his aim to do that. And their even job the, was to, you know, even the lyrics were ordinary. I mean, lyrics, lyrics, were lyrics were bad. You hear lyrics like these thousands of they times. They were bad. You know, not uh, you ordinary. They were bad. It's quite common. You know, it apart had from no the rhyme, word no reason, no rhythm. I like the word sweetheart being used because that's a, a word of the bygone era, literally. So, you know, in the lyrics, so. there was no rhythm, no rhyme, and no reason whatsoever, whatever was written. Now, sweetheart, and then add some words, random words, and then it becomes uh, lyrics for a song. No, no good, no good. I like the keyboard. The moment the keyboard came, I said, oh, they had this. They had members that could do that. There was bassist who was playing it. Constantly, you know, trying to do something with the song so that I can uh, keep the song alive. There, there were other members that were trying very hard to keep the song going well, but it didn't work with the vocals and the way the lyrics were written. Uh, I really have had this kind of combination very uh, few times, but this was one of those days when yeah, this combination I mean, is. I, I, I hope. Uh, I hope people in America don't listen to music like this a lot because it's, like, already, your part. it's already the most dangerous Let's place. See. Already the most lethal, dangerous place anymore. in the world to live. You can be shot anytime, you can be raped anytime, you could be a victim of drug, hoarding anytime, or other kinds of hoarding, several other kinds of hoarding anytime. Or just so, get shot again. Uh, uh, you know, or a victim of domestic abuse or violence. So it's a really dangerous place to live, mentally disturb people if they're one-fifth of the population is mentally disturbed. And when you listen to a song like this, even though it's saying sweetheart, sweetheart so lovingly, again and again, maybe over 40 times in a 3 minute song. When you listen to a song like this, you'll be even more mentally disturbed. So if you're an American and you're watching this reaction video, you're already living in the most dangerous place on earth for a while. Thank God you're still alive uh, and well, hopefully, but uh, physically well, that is. So mentally, we can't say so many are mentally unwell. Sapia, people. I have a brilliant idea. This kind of idea nobody gets. Uh, you know, it's one in a million idea. I remember Minority Report, the movie done by uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, I know it never happened in America, reality-wise. And it, nothing Spielberg really movie. happened. Nothing really happened. It was uh, a Steven Spielberg movie, I, 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 starring mean, Tom great, Cruise. Great, great, great movie. Yeah, starring Tom Cruise, sorry. Uh, uh, they, they, they should have an experiment or maybe a Hollywood, that kind of movie, uh, about uh, these shootings and the impact of it on people. They should have a township where, you know, normal people are there, but there are dummies also that take their walks and go to the malls and go to school and go to the parks and every day and on the streets and these dummies never die so no matter how many times they have been shot they don't die so there should be a study done on those dummies how many times a person could die in america the same person if the person had more lives ah, to come back. you yeah. know yeah because then you could know the real number of people dying because uh, these same people could die again and again and again so yeah, per, uh, see, one person could die several times with me, the kind of shootings that happen there. For me, I think the American and government, other thing. the American government and the American media is like a stand-up comedy joke, you know, right now because they talk about uh, this happening in Ukraine or this happening in Iran or this. Never happening talk in about this. Syria, you know, they never talk about. American lives don't matter. Yeah, I mean, they never talk about themselves. American lives don't no. matter. That's right. That's the that's the bottom line. American lives. Americans' lives don't matter. Ukrainian lives matter more to America and the Afghan, government over there Afghanians than lives American matter. lives who are dying much much more. If there are twenty people found in a some grave in Ukraine today, there will be more than two thousand probably found in different parts of America today in a grave, somewhere or the other. Can you imagine that? They are close to a million people 
who go missing or absconding every year in America. It's a startling statistic. So if you talk about 20 people found in a grave in Ukraine, what about those close to a million who are probably dug somewhere even they don't even have the respect of a grave. They don't even have the respect of a grave. Possibly chopped into pieces and all. Mm-hmm. That's so not a sweet happen. Don't listen to music like that because it doesn't help. It won't help you. It won't help you. Unless it is without it the lyrics, only the It doesn't help way. me. It doesn't help me. It's upsetting me. It's disturbing me right now. So imagine what it can do to people who are already mentally disturbed most of the time.